Aaron Banks made the single biggest donation in British political history when he passed £8 million to the unofficial Brexit campaign. This week, he was referred by the Electoral Commission to the National Crime Agency, which investigates serious and organised crime. In particular, the Commission doesn't believe Mr Banks when he says that he was the real source of that money. He's with me now. Were you the real source of that money? Well, thank you for having me on, first of all. Of course I was. The money came from a UK registered company. It was generated from cash, generated from businesses in the UK. And the whole misunderstanding revolves around the role of Rock Holdings as a holding company. Well, but before we start, I'd just like to say, absolutely for the record, there was no Russian money and no interference of any type. All right, well, let's follow the I money. I just want to be absolutely were. clear about that. So, where did the money come from? It went, when, when it went into Leave.EU's yep. account, where yep. did the money come from? The money then? came from Rock Services, which was a UK limited company. It was generated out of insurance uh, business uh, written in the UK. It was contrary to some of the press reports in the FT and other <laughs> remain leaning publications. We insure nearly right. half a million customers a year, the size of Manchester. We turn over £250 million of premium. It's a sizable business. Well, I'll come on to that in a moment. I'm but just making clear where it just, came from. Just to, just to clear out where it came yeah. from. So, Rock Services yeah. is what we call a shell company. It doesn't do much of its own, does it? Well, it's a service company, uh, but it's a UK-based service company. company. It, it doesn't generate that it, kind of money. I'm telling you that it came from insurance uh, business written in the UK. Mm. So, Rock Holdings is a holding company based in the Isle of Man that owns Rock Services. So, um, did any of the money coming into the Leave.EU come, come from Rock Holdings? Well, that's where I'm confused with the Electoral Commission referring this to the police. We've not, not been asked by the Electoral Commission to actually produce our bank statements. I think we have produced them to your show. You and what is absolutely clear is it's a holding company. And during 15 and 16, there were no sizable amounts of money went into Rock Holdings. It is not possible for the, any money to have come from Rock Holdings to Rock Services. So Rock Holdings was not connected in any way to money going into Leave.EU? No, absolutely not. It all came from Rock Services. Correct. Now, you told MPs that the money came from, quote, another company that I own. Which other company was it? Oh, I've said that Rock Services is where the money came from. It was generated from insurance profits made there. Well, you, you, t you told MPs that uh, Rock Services just delivers the cash. The yep. actual loan came from another one of my companies. I'll ask again, what was the other company? Well, the structure of uh, the, the, the company is that Rock Holdings is the holding company that is the owner of a number of different companies, Rock Services, Southern Rock Insurance, and other, other, other businesses. So, I ask so, you, but I'm so say, what I'm was saying, the company that gave you the I'm loan? I'm saying that, you know, it's UK-generated cash from my group of companies. There was no money came from the Isle of Man Rock Holdings. That is what is a question with the Electoral Commission. Well, the Electoral Commission simply doesn't believe you about that. Well, then uh, why haven't they asked for the bank statements? Well, the you, company, they're, they're questioning it. You've given me the bank statements, you know, but it's I, only a snapshot, I mean, and some you, of it's redacted. It doesn't really prove anything. Well, I, you can have the unredacted uh, copy if you want. But it's not fair well, you, to put you, people's you, bank details there, is it? Uh, you know, and it, we don't know how many redacted. bank accounts Rock Holdings but has. But in any event, Andrew, what, well, well you, you, you could keep on going on that line of question yeah. forever, couldn't you? Why not? <laughs> in, in a sense, in, I mean, Rock Holdings, but let's I want be honest, to, I want is to an Isle of Man you... company, which is right. opaque. Yeah. I want to put Why you... Why is it I opaque? Want to, I want to, well, the Isle of Man Holding Company owns international businesses and it owns businesses in the UK. Mm. You know, the Remain, camp uh, the Remain campaign got money from what? Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan... That's irrelevant to this. No, it's this. not irrelevant. It's irrelevant to this. They are, this is about right, what money on. went into well, Leave.EU and I where it came from. I disagree. It's not from. irrelevant because those are foreign-owned entities that own UK subsidiaries. We went to a QC to get the loan structure signed off yeah. and he signed it off and well, we put it forward in the, in, in I've, the right, I've, correct I've, form. I've, I've seen that judgment, and okay. the point is he doesn't refer to either Rock yeah. Holdings okay. or Rock Services. It was about so a different re, issue. I want to read... I'm no. asking you again, I've where did the you. money come from? Rock Services. I and where did the money that. come in? So the we money came from Rock Services We have an where? insurance business that generates a large amount of cash, 20 to £25 million pounds a year. We insure half a million customers. So this is the now same I want company to, I want to, that made a loss of £32 million in 2016. Well, you're referring to a different company then. You're referring to Southern Rock Insurance that so made which, £42 million the year before. So which company is this that you're, you're referring to now? You're, which is the company you're, that you're referring to? I'm saying Rock Services about. did not... You, you just so made I'm, a number I'm up just asking you, what is the money? You've literally just made a number up. I haven't made a number Rock up. Rock Services did not lose £32 million last year. 
I'm reading Financial Times copy of yes, June. Yes, of course you are. The Gibraltar-based insurance company yes. owned by Arron Banks made a loss of £32 yeah. million pounds in 2016. That is not Rock Services. The previous year to that, it made £42 million. It's a series this of inter is, This is the Southern Rock Insurance It's the Southern Rock Insurance I don't, look, I don't want to get heated with you. No, you're talk, heated. You're just, talk, I'm, I'm just yes, asking you where Andrew, the money You're came talking from. about two different things there. The, the, the loan, sorry, the, the money came from Rock Services, went to leave.eu. That's yes. a UK-based company that had the cash to donate it. But in a sense, that doesn't really tell us well, anything. Now you're Unless asking, we know where yeah, the money came into Now you're trying to from. You know, say, well, I need to understand all of your finances. Yeah, Why? In, in a sense, because we need, we need to know where the money came from. Well, there are lots of people let who me don't think you're okay. as rich as you say you well, are and don't really believe it's your money and it came know, from somewhere else. So BDO valued our business at £250 million in November 17 right. based on an EBITDA of something like £32 million, which I'll happily provide that sort of valuation. But I want to read to you what the electric Why can't you give us the account? Why can't you show get a word money? in edgeways here? All right, come on then. It says... This is from the Electoral Commission. I am concerned that the only source of information is at best hearsay evidence. They describe me as enfant terrible. They go on to say this is a fish, potentially a fishing expedition and, and the case officer says, I do not mm. think an investigation would be appropriate. But that now is they've, they've, they've changed their mind and they no, didn't investigate on, you, and you. And you were, you were found yeah. guilty of misreporting. Yeah, yeah and I'm just going to come on to that. So that's their initial position. They then go on to say, in addition, we will need to yeah. write to Stephen Kinnett to advise of our decision to investigate. This is a politically motivated... Uh, it's it's not. This is, this is all irrelevant. This is the Electoral Commission have gone into your... I'm sorry, they this have, is they not have... irrelevant. Then why didn't they ask me for bank statements and rock holdings? Well, I don't know why they didn't, but... Well, you tell me. Certainly the National Crime Agency can look well, at all the, of these the things the and will crime, can presumably follow the money. The National Crime money. Agency have had a referral from the Electoral Commission to investigate this. We're happy with that. We're going to cooperate with them. Mm. But I'm telling you... That the Electoral okay. Commission did not ask for our bank statements. Why? To really resolve this, we Go need on. the paper trail of the money that went into Leave.eu, and we haven't got that. We haven't seen the money coming into Leave.eu, and we don't I'm know sorry, where the we money have. came. That's all been evidence to the Electoral Commission. Well, the whole thing. We, we, ha we have seen no documents well, showing the money show, coming in. But, well, it's not the almighty arbiter of <laughs> the Electoral Commission law. We sent this to the Electoral Commission. Well, I the, mean, in another point, the by the way, they fined us for overspending. They said, well, we overspent by 10% of the 750. They then, in court papers, when we've taken them to mm. court, say, there appears to be a transcription error. In the a 77,000 is now 55,000. This is all getting too complicated. Yeah, well, it would eight be now. Million, you eight, just want to smear me. No, I don't want to smear yeah, you. I want do. to know, £8 million, no. pounds, biggest donation in British political yeah. history, came from companies involved with you, interleave.eu. Where did the money Andrew, originally come from? It's not from? like I'm using a super injunction to try and hide my affairs Where did here. the money I'm originally come from? I'm telling you, it came from, from a UK company Which that had company? cash generated in the UK. Which We've UK company? That, Rock Services. We've evidenced that to the Electoral Rock Commission. Rock Services is a shell company. It doesn't generate you money You just itself. said it's a shell company. You just read the well, FT. Well, no, I, mean, I don't. FT, I, I mean, the we, FT, we go along to Companies House I mean, and I mean, we look. I mean, the FT, by the way, in their analysis... We go along to Companies House and we look. The FT, in their analysis of my business affairs, missed out a whole company that supplies nearly 85% of the underwriting of my business. They've selected... Let, let's be honest about this, why this, this is happening. This should be easy for you to answer. It I've should answered be very it. easy for you to answer. What was the company that generated £8 million? I've pounds answered like, it. Rock with, Services. But Rock, Rock Services is not a trading company. Well, they, we're going to have to agree to differ on that. I think I know so my what, business what, okay, affairs better than you. What does Rock Services do that generates Rock that kind of money? Rock Services has all sorts of revenue. It generates some uh, insurance All sorts of revenue. Income. What kind of revenue? We insure half a million people in the UK, and. Andrew. Rock we services. Turn over Rock services itself million. ensures half a million people. There's a, it's a group of companies. I know it's complex for journalists to understand. It's not complex. It's, it's, very complex. it's just a, complex. It looks like a company which well, doesn't no, generate sorry. that kind of money. As far as I'm concerned, I've given you the answer to the question. We know what this is about. This is about undermining Article 50. It's undermining the Brexit result. And it's a collection of very vicious Labour MPs that have grouped together with The Guardian and uh, mm. FT to try to undermine Brexit. We've, we've provided the bank statements to you. You say they're, they're redacted. You've provided well. Rock Holdings bank statements. Rock Holdings You haven't shows provided us with detailed right. sales, the ins and outs of money right. going to Rock, Rock Services, Rock which Holdings, is crucial. No, it's crucial that it was reported that Rock Holdings was the source of donation. We've said no money went into Rock Services or very, uh, Rock Holdings or very limited amounts, and now you're saying, well, we must know the source of that. Rock Services. No, I'm asking is the you the source. source of the money that went into Rock Services. It's a UK company. 
that generated the cash and we'll be able to evidence okay. that easily. There is no evidence of that kind of money in Rock Services accounts. Right, we you, have looked I, for sorry, in companies' I'm house. sorry, it's it, what you're saying is wrong. So the company's house re I'm returns saying what are you're wrong. saying is your understanding of it is wrong. But, you know, we're, we're at the point now, aren't we, where, you know, we, we know the Electoral Commission have got a bias on mm. this. The chairman has called it a collection of nonsense. The MPs have biased, for a vote. the Financial Times well, is hold biased, on a second. everybody is biased well, against you. Well, it's the you. remaining part of the equation. It's 52 versus 48. It's beginning to sound a bit like a conspiracy theory. Well, the MPs committee is terribly biased against you. They're all dreadful remainers. The Electoral Commission are the yep. same. I don't know about you think the National Crime Agency are biased against you as well. I don't well. think they are, and I think they're going to see it for what it is. But I go back to what the Electoral Commission said when their own case enforcement officer said, you shouldn't be opening up a case on press mm. speculation. You told Parliament yep. that Rock Services was just a service company. You've told me something well, I, very different today. I, I haven't seen the and actual part transcript of, of that. I will go back and look at that. But I'm telling you that the source of the funding was Rock Services. Well, um, one of the things the Electoral Commission says is that you've yeah. kept changing your story. Why well, do you keep changing your story? I don't think we have. We just expa we expanded on it, gave the advice. You know, f well, first of all, you it said it came from me. Then you said it came from Rock Services. It has come from me. I am Rock Services. The you are Rock belong Services. belong to me, you know. I'm a UK taxpayer. The source of my funding, as long as it's legitimate and it's in the UK, is legitimate. So, do you own Rock Holdings, can I ask you? Uh, yes. You are, you are the main shareholder yes. and also the owner of Rock Holdings. Yes. And Rock Holdings has no connection Andrew, with the money... It's a group of insurance businesses that I own. Yeah. I don't know how to be any plainer than that. Right, but so, so show us the Leave.eu accounts in that case. Can you do that? Um, I, yeah, the Leave.eu accounts have been given to the Electoral Commission. They've, they've opined on our spending. Well, they've the, been through it. We, in fact, the, in fact, the, fact the Electoral Commission actually said that our loan structure was not wholly untransparent in their findings. What does it's not wholly untransparent mean, Andrew? A bit opaque, possibly, I don't know. It's not wholly untransparent. Hmm. That means right. it's transparent. Let's go right back to the beginning again. Okay, okay, let's, do that. let's do that. So there is this company, yeah. Rock Services, which you say is a massive no, no, insurance gonna, company. Tell you, by the way, massive no, insurance no, no. company I'm which not, can generate I'm, eight million pounds. I'm of not going to circle back. I've made my position crystal clear. You disagree with that position. You know, the FT and Guardian it's not disagree. It's just, I don't. Do. I, I mean, we've looked at this. We don't see how Rock yeah. Services can generate eight well, million are, quid. Are we, are we not at the position where the Electoral Commission have referred it? We will explain ourselves and the accounting that went behind it. And I'm very happy with it. Well, it's not just us. The, the DCMS Select Committee says oh, yes. it is unclear yeah. where Aaron Banks obtained this money. Yeah. He failed to satisfy us that his own donations had, in fact, yeah. come from sources within well, the UK. Let's talk about real politics. You know, the Electoral Commission sat on this for five months. We, we've had no allegations put to us by the Electoral Commission, no correspondence in five months. They're due up in front of the committee on Tuesday, and what's going to happen is they're going to say, oh, well, it's not any of our business anymore. It's now over to the National Crime Agency, aren't they? But you, you were five months you without any correspondence. About the Electoral Commission, right? Well, I, I, you said rightly bite so. me. You said bite rightly me, and they so. bit you. They haven't bitten me. They bit, they've bitten the same as the NCA. Look, it, it, if you thought about the number of corrupt politicians that have sat in this chair over the years, um, you have to say, what is the Electoral Commission? Well, hold it's on. a bunch of ex-MPs from the SNP, Liberal see, I'm Party. Sorry, this is what you I'm do. sorry, but this that's is what you do. What do when you mean, this is what when I you, do? When, you, when people ask you questions, you smear other people, say they're all corrupt, they're all dreadful. I'm sorry, how, the, can, the it be right for our that, how can it be right for our democracy to be overseen by former ex-politicians and MPs? How can it be right for how our democracy? How can it be right? How can it be good for our democracy when you respond to criticisms by Damien Collins, no. who's chair of that committee, yeah a Conservative MP, by writing to his constituents, calling yep. him a snake in the grass. Well, he is. And you say so you <laughs> write to every one of his constituents. This is, yeah. That is old-fashioned, straightforward bullying, isn't it? No, it's not. I mean, straightforward bullying, by the way, is the Guardian blackmailing a, a, a researcher visible oak shot. And actually, then Lord Ashcroft had to fly over to, of to New Zealand. Of all the things I want to talk about, so, Isabel oak shot is down <laughs> at the bottom of my list. I'm sure but, it is. What I, what but, I do want know, to ask you about you, is today's Observer story, right, okay. where, where it is suggested there's been a great tranche of emails come out of Eldon Insurance, your insurance yeah. company in Bristol, yeah. which show that people were working there both for the insurance yeah. company and for Leave.eu. So, was that reported? Now, I can say that was reported to the Electoral Commission, and people, were, people that did work uh, from Eldon were transferred over on short-term contracts legally 
and that it was reported through the Electoral Commission in the right way. This is where a lot of this confusion comes from. You're talking about emails that were stolen from us, and you say you don't well, want to talk about Isabel, uh, I, I, Isabel really, I really don't. I know you don't. Because the guy was blackmailed and had right, to be well, flown I, back I, to I, Australia. I, 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 I want to ask you one other thing, and I've got however, a lovely bit here is, from the BBC, there, there is by a, the way. There is a quote. There is a quote in today's Sunday Times from you saying that you regret voting for Leave, that if you had your time over again, you'd vote Remain. Is that true? Well, I think what I said was that the corruption I've seen in British politics, the sewer that exists, and the disgraceful behaviour of the government over what they're doing with Brexit and how they're selling it out, mm -hmm. means that if I had my time again, I, I think we would have been better to probably remain and well, not unleash these demons. OK, Aaron Banks, now thank you very much thank you. indeed.